Hello everyone. Welcome to PM Networking. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, today I have picked one question from CCNA 200301 exam paper. Question is scenario based, right? And nowadays interviewer is also asking scenario based question. So that's why uh, I am making video on it, right? And question is uh, very tricky, very interesting, right? And I have seen this question in many CCNA 200301 exam paper, right? So see guys, question is configure R1 so that OSPF routing is used when OSPF is up, but the server is still reachable when OSPF goes down. So you need to configure router 1 so that so that this router uses OSPF route to reach the server. But whenever OSPF goes down, so a reachability from router 1 to server must be there, right? But if again OSPF will come up, then definitely router 1 will start using OSPF route. So, first of all, let me configure IP on both routers so on router 2 things first of all let me check ip so ip interface brief as clue and assign so i have already configured ip address right so ip protocol and i am running protocol that is ospf1 right and so ip ospf neighbor so neighbor is fine so let me ping to server ping 10.1.1.10 and see it's not reachable so ip so ip that is here we need to configure it 192.168.1.1 slash 24 and default gateway is 192.168.1.2 checking for duplicate IP address and now let me ping Still, I am not getting reply. Let me ping my default gateway 192. 192.168.1.2. So, yes, I am able to ping my default gateways. Let me check IP on server. So, IP interface brief exclude and assign. So here also we need to configure IP address, interface F0 slash 0, say no set, and IP address is 10.1.1.10.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
for SPF suppose one and say no network 172.16.2.0 wildcard is 0 0.0.255 and area is 20 right so now if you will verify routing table of router one here you can see so IP root OSPF after some time clear IP OSPF process say yes right and so IP root now you can see it, there is no any root from OSPF so IP root OSPF fine so IP OSPF neighbor there is no neighbor so now is server reachable so IP root 10.1.1.10 so here you can see there is one static root right so first of all so run section IP root let me remove this command as well from here config t say no and i am going to remove this command now if i will run so ip root 10.1.1.0 so you can see network not in table because ospf is down now server is not reachable but again if OSPF will come up then definitely this router will have root let me show you what I am trying to say oh my god where is router 2 yes and uh, let me run this command again network this one now again the router will get this network from router to here you can see right but now we need to configure a uh, alternate route right so whenever ospf will goes down router will use that route to reach server because server should be reachable always right even ospf is down so global configure mode and here you can run one ip route a static route for 10.1.1 10 submit mask 255.255.255.255 and exit interface will be what serial 2 slash 0 and here by default as you know ad value of a static root is 1 but there is we have to configure ad value greater than ospf then only router will use this prefix whenever ospf will goes down so here let me configure 125 right 125 and now so ip root so yes there is one root root ospf so now again let me down let me remove this command and now you can see fine guys so whenever router ospf is up router will use so routes via ospf but whenever router will go sorry ospf will goes down this router will use a static route okay so that's all for today guys bye bye thanks for watching if you like this video please hit on like button if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe this channel we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye